Another common problem I get phone calls about is people will call and tell me that the hour hand on their clock is loose like this one is. Sometimes it's literally just kind of dangling and hanging and will move on its own. Um, other times they'll just tell me that it's not moving at all. Again, this is a super easy fix and it's often because instead of using the dial on the back of the clock to set the, the time, you might have tried twirling the hands to set the time, which is actually a pretty bad idea. This is how these little things go bad. The good news is they are really easy to fix, so if you do do that, you can remedy this in a heartbeat. So really what's going on is this hand is loose on the shaft and it was kind of pulled off of its little track. It's super easy to fix if you have thumbnails. Just slide your thumbnails underneath the rim of the, of the minute hand and push that hour hand down until you feel it get snug. If you don't have thumbnails or fingernails like I do, here's another option for you. You just pull this second hand off, you just grab it at the center point like I just did right here and yank. Don't be afraid to yank really hard, sometimes they're really seated in there. And this little shaft that comes out is normal. Sometimes people think they broke something when they see that, but that's supposed to be there. So we'll put this down, then you have this little brass nut. It's tiny, so the only dangerous part here is not losing this because it's so small. And you'll see that it rolls right away. So we're going to take that little brass nut off, pull the minute hand off, and now you've got the hour hand. And all you have to do is push it down. Again, you'll feel it get snug. You don't have to worry about whether it's tight or not. There's no question when it is. Once you've got that on tight, you put your hour hand back on. It only fits on one way, like a key in a keyhole just fits on one way. You take your little nut, you put it back on, you just tighten the nut with your finger. You'll see when this hand starts moving, you've tightened it enough, and you just take your second hand and slide it right back in the shaft. And now you've got a working clock. Again, make sure that your second hand doesn't touch any of the other hands, and you're fixed.